Hi, I'm Sofina from KTJ, Kupra Technical Jepun, or known as Luke is Policy Japan. I am a sponsored student. My sponsor is Jabatan Primata Awan JPA. Um, people should look up to our program because it's a very practical program and the coursework and the exercises are packed. Because in our first semester, we are learning our sciences. I'm taking sciences. Our KTJ actually have science and non-science, which the science students are taking chemistry, physics, mathematics, and of course, Japanese language. We also have uh, cities, which is like the religious studies. And for both Muslims and non-Muslims. But for the private student, um, they only took up uh, mathematics if they are non-science. But if they're pure science, they'll be taking the same subjects as us. Well, people should look up our program because our program are a very practical one. And uh, by saying practical is that we started learning in full Japanese, which means that uh, physics, mathematics, and chemistry in full Japanese starting from our second semester and henceforth. Um, also that the teachers who are going to be teaching us starting from second semester until our last semester are our Japanese uh, Japanese lecturers which are a very kind of strict ones and also nice enough to show us and guide us so that when we went to when we go to Japan we could grasp the studies there better and have a better preparation here. Our program is mostly as a more to te test based because we have quizzes and mid semester and also final semester which is sum up for our final grade for each semester. But there's also for each subject there's also like five percent of assignment excluding Japanese language because Japanese language are fully test oriented. Mm, the pre our PO here for the sponsored students are two years, sum up to five semesters. While for the private students, they only gonna be spending their time in Intech for about a year and they're gonna fly to Japan um, in March or April and continue their study at the language center in Tokyo. Mm. For my course, we have two types of studies, which is that I mentioned just now, which is science and non-science, where science students take mathematics, chemistry, and physics, and for the non-science, they only take mathematics as a tertiary subject besides Japanese language. Um, the next country that I'm going to fly next is Jap Japan, of course. And for the uh, private students, after spending a year, about two semesters in Intec, they're going to go and continue their studies about a year in uh, a language center in Japan, uh, prepare for the university entrance exam there. They're going to take the entrance exam and enter the university for four years and get their degree. Well, for sponsored students, you're going to spend five semesters, uh, equivalent to two years in impact, then take a Mokasha exam to enter a course study, which is a technical high school in Japan, spend three years there to get a diploma, and then take another university entrance exam to enter the third year of degree in university, and after two years, we will graduate with a degree. My program is hard <laughs> just because um, first because of the language barrier. Speaking about learning a foreign language for Japanese especially, we have three sets of alphabets I could say because we have a hiragana which we're going to use for uh, custom Japanese words, katakana, another set of alphabet for um, word in English or Dutch or anything that is taken into Japanese pronunciation and we also have kanji which is a Chinese character in expressing each of the words of Japanese words and in kanji they also have two types of syllables which is Chinese pronunciation and also Japanese pronunciation 
So the, it can be like one kind of Chinese character and you have two ways or sometimes three ways to pronounce it. Mm, one special thing about my program is that the sensei, the teacher, the lecturers are really nice. They taught us with uh, much patience because learning Japanese especially they have many kind of grammar, they have pastimes and they also have many kind of forms and you need to change every time you want to say something, every time a new grammar and there must be something changing and it's not constantly the same and I can say that uh, there's like 17 types of uh, what can I say, like a grammar for a word in Japanese language so and each of them are quite different it's very cool. Um, sometimes we have cultural classes. The other day we had we made onigiri, and we have like kazoku no hi, which is family day, and we also have sensei no hi, teachers day. So, um, most Japanese students are in the Japanese jet in the jet club, which is a club for Japanese KTJ students. Okay guys, so do join KTJ program because it's uh, a fun and jam packed learning with new culture and speaking Japanese is actually a good thing because since uh, our country is associating more projects with Japanese government so it's a huge uh, advantage to be able to speak Japanese and don't forget to subscribe and comment below on the video and subscribe in Tech Studio, they have many great videos and many great contents there and yeah, subscribe in Tech Studio.